Suspect in the mass shooting at a Colorado movie theater is now charged with 24 counts of murder and 116 counts of attempted murder. James Holmes is facing two counts for each victim. ABC's Brandy Hit is in Centennial, Colorado, where today's hearing took place. James Holmes looked the same as he did last week in court, at times dazed and confused with bright orange hair. Only this time, cameras were not allowed inside, as the prosecution laid out 142 charges against him, including two murder counts for each death. 24 counts of murder in the first degree, 116 counts of criminal attempt to commit murder in the first degree, one count is a sentence enhancer, and one count of class four felony possession of an explosive device. In a show of solidarity, many of the victims and their families from the movie theater massacre attended the hearing and heard the accused killer speak for the first time. When the judge asked Holmes if he wanted to waive his right to a speedy trial, Holmes said yes. I do believe that he should probably be just locked away and, um, and uh, live with what he did every day of his life. When the judge mentioned the death penalty, Holmes looked right at him. The judge also ordered that prosecutors return the journal Holmes sent to his psychiatrist that was intercepted by police. felt resentment that anybody could take away someone's life for just going to the movies. And, and I also felt sorry for him in the sense that here was a brilliant person that could have done a lot of good. There also appeared to be a silent message for Holmes in court, the man who reportedly told police he was the Joker. Several victims wore Batman t-shirts as they battled back from their wounds. Now, Holmes's journal is considered a key piece of evidence. Next month, the judge will rule whether it's privileged information between a doctor and patient. Brandy Hitt, ABC News, Centennial, Colorado.